there. How's your Friday going, man? We've got some rain showers out there, a cold front in the area, and big changes headed our way for this Labor Day weekend. Let's talk about what's happening now and then what happens next. First things first, looking at radar, we've got some showers and storms underway. The cold front's draped across parts of uh, northeast Oklahoma as well as northwest Arkansas. And, of course, it's raining out there, so you know what that means. They're wrecking. Here's a look at iDrive. This is out there towards uh, Springdale. You can see some slow traffic. Looks like the fire department on the scene working uh, an accident there. Also, look at the flags moving around. Really, some gusty winds are going to be our main issue with these storms. We're not really looking at much in the way of a severe weather threat. The thunderstorms, though, will have that potential for some brief gusty winds with some of the stronger storms. So where are the stronger storms? Well, right now, looking at it from Lowell out through Bethel Heights, pretty strong storm there east of Elm Springs. That's pretty much where that accident was, too, uh, just north of Springdale. Let's see how this thing is trending and tracking here in the last couple frames. Uh, nearly stationary, not moving a whole lot there. We'll look at it with the front here in just a second. Let's go over to the uh, the radar and look at this uh, big picture. There we go. Uh, so this is the front that's moving in. Here's a closer look at it. Uh, I'll switch over to the uh, local radar source here in a second, but uh, just looping it here over the last hour, look how they're just kind of crawling around. So there's not much. It's all scattered. There's nothing actually happening south of the tunnel yet. We've got some storms out around Tahlequah. Looks like there's one that tried to develop there just south of Clarksville, but the bulk have been really developing this afternoon out across portions of Rogers and towards Bentonville and Springdale. So let's go to uh, radar here and uh, cue this thing up and look at this a little bit closer and talk about some streets affected. So this is where the uh, lightning is occurring. It's the heaviest part of the storm out there by Spring Creek. That's uh, just along and south of the Springdale bypass or 612 bypass um, close to Devonshire, Blackburn Avenue and Bell Grove Avenue. A little bit heavier though on the northwest side of Springdale. There's Silent Grove Road moving in a little tighter on this. There's Counts Avenue out towards Phillips, some heavy rain out towards Cartwright. Circle, Cartwright Drive, uh, Ridgeview Drive, and Lewis Avenue on the northwest side of Springdale. And then we've got some baby cells popping up here, too. These are out around Goshen and Fayetteville and Farmington. Here's a loop of those. But look at this thing just develop, huh? Man, that thing just sprung to life. If it's doing anything, it's drifting north a little bit. So I do think we're going to get some here in Rogers, probably Bentonville, too, coming up. Uh, we lose daytime heating. We're going to lose some of these showers. So uh, the intensity may dial down some, but not a whole lot, uh, just because... Look at this. Zoom out. See our friend in the front? It is cutting through. And as long as the front's moving in the area, we're going to have these showers and storms. We've had a couple of flare-ups this afternoon that have been severe in uh, northeast Oklahoma earlier today. Let's see if we can find some winds in this and see if any of this stuff is severe. Uh, look a little closer here. There we go. Uh, it doesn't look that impressive here. How about here? No. doesn't look like there's a whole lot in the way of gusty winds. I don't even think we have a whole lot of hail within this storm either. I'm going to go back over to uh, Analyst here and look at that. We'll look right into that thunderstorm over Springdale. I think if we see any if any hail's going on, it's probably going to be right around this area here. Um, let's see here. It doesn't look like it, at least for now. Uh, these showers and storms, I'm going to take this to two panel here for you. It might look a little wonky, guys. So on the left side, got going on the... Um, Looking at reflectivity on the right side, I was thinking maybe we could look at, let's see here. I think my radar already went on Labor Day vacation. That's okay. The reboot solved it. And in the meantime, we've got this to look at. So um, the hail within any of these storms would be located right in here in the center, also out towards Goshen. looks like we have a thunderstorm. I'm going to run through this model data real quick just to show you guys what happens next here for the next couple of hours. Um, there we go. So here's where we are now. And then uh, heading into the evening, these things fade a little bit, but they come back to life here about midnight or one. So you'll get some scattered showers again overnight. And those are going to continue into the first part of the day. They're scattered, but the front's still in the area, which means we get more redevelopment as we head into the afternoon tomorrow. See more scattered showers popping up. Uh, they're not everywhere, but with the front, front and center over us we should get quite a bit more in the way of some heavier showers uh, by tomorrow and then sunday we should see them taper down a bit they're just kind of crawling all over uh, but you can see what it does when the roads it's, it's just not well uh, you get these this stuff out there and you end up with accidents that's a look at i drive got some brief gusty winds with some of the stronger storms and again also that possibility of uh, getting some uh, cloud to ground lightning with the stronger storms and perhaps even um Maybe some small hail. I'm really not seeing that much in the way of hail right now. Uh, but certainly those gusty winds are out there and uh, should be continuing here for at least the next uh, maybe 30 to 45 minutes. Going back off the camera here. Let's go back to the 
radar I've solved some of the problems not many some gusty winds it looks like again we've got velocity on one side and we have reflectivity on the other so west of bethel heights it looks like there's some stronger winds here on the northwest side of springdale that's where we were noticing that uh, just a little bit ago as well see so if we can change over to storm relative i'm going to change it to um let's look at a four panel let's really get crazy with this thing so we got reflectivity on the top. We have hail right here. So if there's any hail, I'm seeing it right there west of the Bethel Heights area. Pretty much co-located out over uh, Harbor High, out towards the links in Springdale. Matter of fact, I think that's probably where if uh, we got anything going on here. As far as wind goes, it's going to be right with that cell near Oak Grove. Nearly stationary. Here's Bethel Heights. There's Stonecrest, Belmont Estates. Um I like the other source better for this just because this better street level mapping on it let's look at this so there's harbor so with some gusty winds here right along uh jean george road that's that runs back there out over the over the creek and then um haley avenue looks like it's going pretty good there to the north and south 48th street out towards brush creek on the um north side of sunset so sunset's running east and west here in the center of the screen and then you've got sam's club which is right here you have uh, the new chick-fil-a it's over there and uh the heaviest is north of that out towards silent grove and bethel heights um north stoltz road and uh, silent grove road pump station road this is basically right over lake springdale here and uh cherry knoll circle knox loop and Spring Hill Avenue, all getting these uh, showers that have popped up with daytime heating here. New lightning strike just popped up here. So you've got a little bit more development that's occurring on the north side of this thing. All right. So another look at it here at the showers and storms. All of this to say that these storms are going to be likely for us for tonight and then into tomorrow. There's not a lot of movement with it. We'll get these storms developing farther south. They're going to be scattered. I, I mean, they're really scattered. If you ask call your friend in Pea Ridge or Garfield, and they're going to say, what are you talking about? It's not raining. It's hot. And then you can call your friend in Springdale and be like, yeah, we just got it drenched. There's some heavy rain there. Um, but you can see it's generally crawling to the north with some of these storms that are out there. It looks like X and A at the moment doesn't have anything going on. Maybe some light rain showers around Bentonville. But the, certainly the heaviest thunderstorm is currently located uh, over Springdale, north side of Springdale, out towards um, Bethel Heights. And that thing is just kind of like crawling along there. I'm going to see if I can pull up some temperatures. I think we could, if we look at this, it might actually be pretty interesting to see how much temperatures have changed with the rainfall in the area. Matter, I'll freeze the computer up and break it. I'm known to do that as well. Um, we'll go big and zoom in. Hang on a sec, guys. It's coming. It's coming. Boop. There it is. Told you. So let's see here. It's loading the data down to 70 at XNA. So a nice drop in temperatures, uh, 71 in Fayetteville. Outside of this, it's still hot. We again, well, Actually, these are dew points. I'm sorry, y'all. 79 is the current temperature at XNA. It's 89 in Fayetteville. And then outside of the rain, it's 90 in Fort Smith. And Fort Smith's heat index, too, is uh, close to 96. The heat index has been pretty much erased in Rogers and in Bentonville, uh, down to about 89, 85. So a uh, big change there as far as the temperatures go and, and the feels like. So uh, that's the rain and the radar. Here's the satellite, too. One thing I think is always really interesting to look at here um, as these frames load is you can see the sunshine ahead of the boundary, and you can see those cumulus clouds starting to bubble up with daytime heating, and that's what really gave way to these showers and storms which have developed. So you can see where more storms are possible to develop this evening just by looking at the satellite. And I can see some out there. Uh, looks like Paris out towards Boonville. Uh, looks like a, some stuff's trying to develop out around Harvey as well. I don't see much in the Fort Smith area, although there's some cumulus that's trying to grow there out towards Roland and the bottoms. And it looks like we've got a little bit more on the way here uh, from Lurton up towards Jasper and Witt Springs. And of course, these are already underway here in uh, Rogers, Bentonville and Springdale. That particular storm's uh, slowly tracking north. Another look at it for you. Looks like we have some of the more lighter rain that's just to the north in North Bella Vista. Um, let's see if we can see what that looks like as this stuff moves on in. Oop. Not too shabby, huh? Looks like more of a drizzle than anything else. It's definitely not a heavy rain. Not a good night to mow, though, depending on where you are, right? I mean, some of this stuff is pretty heavy that's moving in out across the area. 
zoom in a little more on this Elm Spring storm. Turn on maximum estimated hill size here. Got that loaded. Let's see. I'll use this one instead. So if there's some small hail, it may be right in there. North side of Springdale, Silent Grove, maybe. I think the hail's probably a stretch. I don't think there's much hail within any of this. Velocity-wise, let's see if we can find any microbursts. Not really. The one thing I do notice, though, is right in here that that red and green next to each other for quite a bit of time probably does indicate something spreading out here so there may be some uh, stronger and gusty winds that are located there on the uh, north side of 412 out towards the elm springs or sunset exit perhaps that may be a little bit stronger there another look at the reflectivity and let's loop this there's some stuff in fayetteville too look at this these storms have just started popping up Weather Service has a um, special weather statement out. They did not issue a warning for this. That means it's below warning criteria, meaning we don't have anything going on as far as winds that are up to um, 58 miles an hour or quarter size hail. None of that's happening with any of this. So it's looking pretty good in that respect. The strongest part of this Fayetteville storm is out over South Armstrong Avenue and South 15th Street. Let's see. Um, back in a little more. Dead Horse Mountain Road out towards Baldwin. I've been playing around, y'all. Let's see if this works. Put a camera on the roof. It's not an RDOT cam. That's what's happening in Rogers out at my place. The Golden Retrievers were outside for a split second, and then they ran. Of course they did. Um, because the rain that's falling, but... No rain out there at the Lewis residence, or no hail out there. A little bit of rainfall, though. Of course, my yard needs it. If I could just get my son to mow more, that would just be the bee's knees, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. It will if he wants money, though. So here's another look at the radar here from Bethel Heights, out west towards Tawny Town. That looks like it's going to be, let's see here. Let's loop this one a little bit wider here. Sorry. There we go. Now we're cooking. Kind of dumped all its rain out, didn't it? Let me see if I can take you somewhere else. I'm going to take you to the Dave Cave. My uh, good friend, David Latanzio. This is looking on the west side of Rogers. You can see some of the clouds. This is closer towards that Pleasant Valley intersection there on 112. So it's really not raining quite as much there yet, uh, but that should pick up. That Shadow Valley there, it looks like we do have some rain that's starting to pick up and the trees moving around a bit. Um, but overall, pretty nice, uh, nice to get that cool air and also nice to get the rainfall that's going on out there as well. Here's another look at the storms uh, crawling around. That one in Fayetteville really blew up, didn't it? That was the one we were just talking about. That one really developed in the last half hour or so, and that's going to continue trending north. Got the one out towards Clifty, too, near Hinesville. But I think the key takeaway with this, guys, is uh, none of this is severe at the moment, and it's going to continue here for the rest of this evening, and then we lose daytime heating, and things should start to simmer down a little bit. You're going to get some frequent lightning with it. You'll probably get some heavy rainfall um, with the stronger storms, and where the storms don't develop, we're going to stay dry, but it's all scattered. So West Fork doesn't have much going on. Mountainburg right now, not much. Then you get into places like Elm Springs and Lowell and Tawny Town, and we're just uh, we're soaked. A lot of heavy rain there from those uh, showers that are moving in. Um, and some of the low hanging clouds too, that are the outflow, the outflow boundary that's pushing out of the area. So here's what to expect. So as we head into the nighttime hours tonight, that front is overhead. We'll have scattered showers and storms along the front. Temperatures will drop. Temperatures look awesome, by the way. Do I still have the trend map pulled up? Hey, look at that. That's from this morning. Uh, temperatures are going to be falling, uh, going from those 90s over the next couple of days. So we get a good drop in temperatures out of this, and they stay low. They stay in the 80s for the next week or so. So it looks really good as far as the temperatures are. Uh, temperatures are trending. Severe weather outlook. There's actually no risk out there for us right now. It doesn't mean you can't get a severe storm, but the likelihood of severe weather is low. And then uh, moving into this weekend, tomorrow, expect much more of this stuff. We'll have widely scattered showers during the day. Things start to simmer down Sunday. I don't think the rain chances completely go away for the Labor Day weekend, but all in all, 
it's not too bad for us. We need the rain. Rain's always a good thing in summertime months. And then as we head into the weekend on Labor Day, we will be ducking some showers. So if you're going to be out there at Beaver Lake or Grand Lake or Ten Killer or Lake Washita, just keep that in mind. You may have to head inside for some of the showers, but the overall risk of severe weather is mm-hmm. high with this stuff. So that's what I'll keep an eye on. Anything that flares up or gets severe, I may jump back on here. But otherwise, enjoy the rain if you're getting it. And if you're not getting the rainfall, hang in there because you'll get some showers here before too long uh, as that front starts to cut across the area later tonight and into tomorrow morning. Catch you guys back next time.